Sure. You ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir. I've never been up in a plane before. You ever seen a grown man naked? Today we're going to focus on the Himawari geostationary satellite, which we're told is something like a mind-boggling 22,000 miles away from the Earth, sending us a real picture every 10 minutes. Did you know the Himawari um, ironically means sunflower? So, yeah, there's proof of the heliocentric sun worshippers model right there. Defenders of the heliocentric model love to point to the quote-unquote almost real-time images from the Himawari as proof of a globular Earth, since it allegedly gives us a picture every 10 minutes, and the weather uh, data seems to be, you know, pretty current. Well, unfortunately for the ballers, we're going to debunk that completely here, simply in the next five minutes, and show you how they fake it all. Here uh, is the website anyone can go to and see this all for themselves. On a side note, the Himawari is operated by the Japanese Meteorological Space Agency and brought to us by the NOAA, the National Oce Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's GOES Geostationary Satellite Server. Well, I found your first problem there, Paul. You're at the wrong website. NOAA's Environmental Visualization Laboratory is a database for weather and climate data not the source of the Himawari's raw images. For that, you need to go to the Jap Japan Meteorological Agency's website. Here, you can find the raw images you seek. But, I'm sure you already knew that. Surely you aren't going to take the NOAA images and try to debunk them as if they were the raw data. And don't call me Shirley. Click here for the site description, so when you do, a text file comes up, and you can see right here, they tell you that all of the images in the archive use the underlying colored land images from the NASA Blue Marble data set. Yep. So the Himawari is actually completely, totally debunked right there. These aren't real pictures coming from a satellite in a geostationary orbit above the Earth getting snapped every 10 minutes and being beamed down for us to all ooh and ah over. Whoa, sci-fi! Paul seems to have a fatal misunderstanding of the purpose for NOAA's EVL website. The website is not a repository of Himawari 8 satellite data for us to ooh and awe over. It is a central hub for the data for many weather satellites, including the GOES East, GOES West, SUMI NPP, Metostat 8, Himawari 8, and other weather satellites. The important information to the EVL website is not the land images, but the weather. Weather data images are collected at many different wavelength channels, such as visible light, shortwave, and infrared. Each channel provides valuable weather information the others simply cannot. Since the weather data is the only important data to the EVL website, it is what they publish. The Blue Marble Next Generation Base Map is used because it is high definition and cloud free. When you get your family picture taken, the backdrop the photographer uses is not relevant. Your family is. Same idea at work here. If Paul in the plane was interested in what a land image taken from the Himawari 8 satellite looks like, he should go to the JMA website. To just briefly show you how they generate a picture every 10 minutes with what appears to be accurate and current weather, this is basically what they do. Number one, they have already created and stored transparent images of the weather over the oceans using climate simulation software, which they openly admit right here that they've done climate simulations up to the year 2095. So that's where the weather over the oceans comes from, their software simulations. Since Paul on the plane refuses to understand what he is talking about, that job falls on me. The data he is referring to are projections made by the coupled physical model CM3, a climate model produced by the Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Laboratory. In particular, he is showing the data for one of four possible scenarios. These models were built to see what might happen to global temperatures given set conditions, and are not 100% accurate forecasts of day-to-day -day weather. I will also note that nowhere in his original video does Paul compare the weather data from a satellite to these predictions to show that they are the same. Instead, he says these models exist, and then states the weather data from space is a lie. You're a phony! Without any evidence. Keep firing, assholes! 
Number two, now for the weather over the land, the NOAA has supercomputers that take data coming in from all over the world, Doppler radar feeds, and crunch it all together and combine it with the weather simulation data over the ocean. So they come up with a complete composite <laughs> uh, weather quote unquote map, which is then wrapped around a ball in their 3D modeling software program. I wonder how NASA supercomputers crunch weather data from Doppler stations in the middle of Africa, since, you know, none exist. I guess there must be no satellite images of weather over Africa. Oh wait, there totally are. For sure! Like, totally! Then what we get are composite images like this that are created in the 3D modeling software. The current Doppler weather uh, data over land and the simulated weather over the oceans, and it looks like this. Notice the image shows you the weather for the whole ball and not just part of the ball that is lit by the sun at this particular time. No Terminator line or anything like that, right? Okay. Now, here's the kicker. Go to the other file folder, which is the images that we get to see and are told are real pictures from space. But what they've simply done is taken the weather map picture of the whole ball they created and they superimpose it over the blue marble data set, just like they said they did. The EVL takes real satellite data and superimposes it over the blue marble next generation data set. This is because the EVL website is a portal for information about weather, not a database of unedited visible light images from space. If you want that, go to a website that houses that. The Himawari 8 website has an extensive database of unedited visible light images from space for you to ooh and ah over. Stop strawmanning the EVL website for putting out the information it is designed to do. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. So what you can see here is the final version of what we're spoon-fed and told is a picture taken by the Himawari from space like, you know, 10 minutes ago. No, it's not. This is the image from the same date and time, October 11th, 2017 at 11.05 a.m. And you can see that the weather is exactly the same. Watch it closely. There's your weather map comprised of simulated and Doppler radar being used to complete a composite image. The uh, final image has a Terminator line added in to try to make it look like a real picture from space, which drives a nail in the coffin of the Himomari because the weather data shows it over the whole ball completely. But they have to add a Terminator line to show the Earth only par partially lit uh, by the sun based on the time of day that the photo is allegedly taken. So if this is a real picture, how did they know where to put the clouds and weather on the part of the globe with no sunlight? It's completely dark there. Here, we have a fundamental example of not knowing what you are talking about. A weather satellite collects data at many wavelengths. One of those wavelengths, the visible light spectrum, relies on sunlight being reflected off the Earth and as such going to be collected when the sun is shining. Other spectrums, like infrared, do not require sunlight to work and can be used to see cloud formations without it. Weather data on the dark parts of the Earth come from these other wavelength channels. It's as simple as that. When ignorant people decide to educate other ignorant people on subjects they are ignorant about, you get the flat Earth. <laughs>